Dr. Simon. Um, you won and by a considerable margin. What are your thoughts right now? Well, I'm pleased that the people of Rochdale have put their faith in me. Uh, I've worked hard over the last 10 years and what this result shows is that the people want me to continue working hard over the next five years. So that's the uh, job of work that's ahead of me. Um, How has this compared to you know, the first time you were in this position, winning and, and having to do a job again? How is this compared to the first? Well, it's very humbling to receive this amount of support from the people of Rochdale. Uh, it, it does involve uh, hard work, that's what I think people are voting for. Uh, they also, I think, want me to speak up and speak out on behalf of the people of Rochdale, uh, put my head above the parapet, which is something uh, I've, I've done over the last five years, and I think it's right and proper to continue uh, to do. Uh, but what they also want is for the MP, me, to work with the council and work with other local agencies and indeed national government to get the best deal for Rochdale. We need uh, more and better jobs in the town, uh, we need to improve manufacturing, we need to support businesses more strongly uh, to develop in this town and we need to improve the town centre and they're some of the priorities that I think the people of Rochdale want me to take forward. Why should the people continue to believe in you and believe that you would do a good job? Well, they, they've seen my track record over the last five years. This result suggests that they're, they're content with uh, the work that I've been doing. Uh, but it obviously shows that, uh, you know, in politics you can't, you, can't, you can't relax. It's not right that you would relax. You've got to keep working hard, and I think that's what this message, uh, that, it, that is the message that I take from tonight. Do you have a message for the people that have voted for you? Well, I would say thank you very much for putting your faith in me. Uh, I will serve you as, uh, as ably and as strongly as I possibly can.